The ultrasonic sensor emits a sound wave, which reflects off of an object and back into the sensor. It measures the amount of time that this takes, which can be converted into distance. Now let's look into the wiring. On the far left we have 5 volts, and we have a trigger pin which triggers the sound wave and an echo pin which receives it, and finally on the far right we have the ground. Now let's go on over to the Arduino. You can hook up the sensors to the Arduino by soldering, using the breadboard, or using a male to female connector cable. So now connect the ground from the sensor to the ground on the Arduino, the same with the 5 volt, and then use two digital pins for the trig and echo. Now let's write a simple program that prints the distance from an object. First, you just want to set up your variables for trigger pin, the echo pin, and then set up two integers, duration and distance. Now in void setup, you're going to want to do pin mode for trigger and echo, set trigger to output and echo to input, and then do serial begin 9600. In void loop, start out by copying that code, which triggers the sound wave, and then set duration equal to pulse in echo high. Uh, that'll basically just figure out the amount of time it takes for the sound wave to reflect off an object and back into the sensor. So now set distance equal to duration divided by 2, divided by 29.1. I'll take duration and convert that from time into centimeters. Now type serial, print line, distance, and then delay 100. This will print the distance in the serial monitor. And that wraps it up for the code. Uh, you can find all this in the description below. Now let's go over some quick tips for use. The range is from around 2 centimeters to 400 centimeters. Also, the sensor is most accurate when it's pointed towards a flat surface. Finally, if the object is too close or too far away from the sensor, you'll probably get a value of zero or maybe some random large negative number. And that about wraps up this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.